have you ever cleaned your room thoroughly, made sure everything is spotless, and then suddenly noticed insects crawling around as if out of nowhere? It can feel frustrating, but there's actually a scientific explanation for why insects appear even in the cleanest spaces. First, it's important to understand that insects are incredibly good at finding food, shelter, and favorable conditions. Cleanliness alone doesn't make a space invisible to them. Many insects, such as ants, flies, or small beetles, can enter a room through the tiniest gaps in windows, doors, vents, or cracks in walls. They are experts at detecting even the faintest scent of food, water, or organic material, which can linger even after cleaning. Another reason is their life cycles. Some insects, like moths or flies, lay eggs in hidden spots, such as behind baseboards, under furniture, or inside cupboards. These eggs can remain dormant for days or weeks before hatching, making it seem like the insects appeared suddenly in a clean room. Similarly, moisture-loving insects, like silverfish or cockroaches, are attracted to areas with water or humidity. Even a small leak or condensation behind a wall can create the perfect environment for them. Light and temperature also play a role. Many insects are drawn to light sources at night or to warm, sheltered environments. A clean, well-lit room may inadvertently attract them because it provides heat, safety, or access points. Finally, insects are extremely resilient and opportunistic. They do not care whether a room is tidy. Their behavior is driven by survival instincts. Seeing a few insects in a spotless room does not mean the cleaning was ineffective. It just means these tiny creatures are good at finding opportunities humans often overlook. So the next time insects appear in your perfectly clean room, remember it's not magic or poor housekeeping. It's a combination of hidden access points, dormant eggs, moisture, and the natural instincts of these tiny survivors trying to make the most of their environment.